Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Yomi. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a college art supply haul. So I'm going to be showing you art supplies that I bought or received as gifts for me to use in college. And this may be filmed in two different places because when I move to college in the fall in Rhode Island, I will be buying some new art supplies there as well. I'm not wearing my glasses because it creates a weird glare. So I can't really see, but what is this? I did not expect this to be so bulky. This is a colored pencil holder. Wow, this is really big. The Derwent Superpoint Manual Sharpener. This is a left-handed scissor, by the way. So, which my mom bought for me. Because, if you didn't know, people who are left-handed, it is hard for them to use regular scissors. This is the one that has all the goods. These are the Ohuhu markers, 216 dual tip art markers, chisel and brush nib. So these are my first full set of brush nib markers. I, ha I have like five or six Copics. Oh my goodness, that is heavy. Then the Ohuhu markers came with these gel pins. Well, all of these art supplies are very high quality and they're very expensive. So do not feel bad if you do not have the money to buy these supplies supplies. I've been doing art my whole life and I've never had the money to buy all of these things and most of all of these things were gifts. Um, but this beautiful box, Prismacolor Premier colored pencil. So I'm going to be unboxing these things in order. I have so many art supplies that I'm going to have to buy in Rhode Island because I just don't have space in my carry-on. So this is where I will put my each individual colored pencil in here. It's so that I can carry these colored pencils around because they're not very portable. And I can just pick this up and go anywhere. I can carry this on an airplane. Wow, this is pretty. I like the beige cream, cream color. Oh, can't really see that. So it looks much prettier in person. So I don't know what this is for. I guess you can just put art supplies in here. And you can see all the different pockets and stuff. I did not know all of this was in here. So I don't remember how much exactly, how many colored pencils this fits, but it fits enough. And it has space for extra colored pencils if I buy more. This is my Derwent Superpoint Manual Sharpener. I wanted a very high quality sharpener um, that would not have my colored pencils break because low quality sharpeners will cause even the most expensive colored pencils to break very often and you don't want to waste your money on a lot of colored pencils and just have them break all the time. So this is a Derwent Superpoint Manual Helical Pencil Sharpener um, Thai Crayon Helicoidal Manual Anyways, so I don't know what this is for. So you can pull this tray out I assume, yeah you can to dump the shavings out and these are the 24 Mars Lumograph um, pencils, the drawing pencils. So originally I did not know that there were this many shades of drawing pencils. I thought there was only B to 6B and H to 5H but there's way more shades. There's at least 24 so there's 12B all the way to 10H so these are 24 different shades of pencils so I was trying to get the, the set with the most and there are 24 different ones. Wow okay so it opens up if you can't take the lid off mars lumograph blue casing on <laughs> white lettering you can see 6h 6b 3b you can see which number and letter each one is and of course i'm going to be using my new handy dandy sharpener to to sharpen these pencils draw with jazza who is a famous art youtuber he has a channel and his video he has a two-part series where he tests out all of the different alcohol based markers to exist that he could find on the market and since there, there have been a lot more created since then, so his video is kind of a little bit outdated, which is sad. But he spent thousands and thousands of dollars to find all of the different alcohol-based markers that were there and to test which one was the best. I'm not going to spoil which one came up on top, because you guys probably already know. But what came out on s in second place were the Ohuhu markers, and they're very affordable. So they're the second best alcohol-based markers in the world, but they're affordable? Like, it makes no sense. So I had to get them because they're not that expensive for art supplies. I'm literally so excited to open these because this is the closest I will ever get 
to a full set of Copics because they're basically almost a very similar quality to Copics from what I hear. It has a nice little case you can carry around and put on your shoulder. Um, wow, okay, this is a big moment. This is the big moment. Wow. Wow. 216 markers. Uh, I don't like the casing that much. They're kind of ugly. Up, you see the brush nib, which is what I wanted. I wanted the Ohuru markers with the brush nib are a little bit more expensive than the full set that doesn't have the brush nib, but it's definitely worth it. So, but you can put this in between a sheet of paper if you're coloring on thin paper, so it doesn't bleed onto the next sheet. So you put this in between. That's very nifty. But this is a color chart. You fill in all of the different colors on here. They came with a set of gel pens. I'm very skeptical when it comes to gel pens because most gel pens are horrid and don't work well. The long-awaited Prismacolor Premier colored pencil set of 150, the biggest set that there is. Yeah, this is a set of 132 that I normally use. It doesn't have the full set of colors that the 150 obviously has. Magnetic casing. And see, they're pre-sharpened. And I think these are the last two, which is unfortunate because the set of 132 it comes with this nice casing where you can put extra colored pencils in the center of the, of the top piece, which is unfortunate that this one doesn't have that because I, I use that all the time to put um, my extra colored pencils that I buy from the store. So that's very unfortunate. I just got a new camera, so the video quality is going to be a lot better from now on when I film the rest of the supplies that I got. I just went to Hobby Lobby. So they had these erasers, these Faber-Castell kneaded erasers. I'm going to open them for you. They're just little kneaded erasers, which are artist erasers, and they're very inexpensive. As you can see, they were $2.99. I'm not going to unpackage it completely for you. But they come with these two little erasers for $2.99 for both of them together. And I bought two packs of those, so this will last me for maybe uh, one and a half to two years maybe, I would assume. So I don't have to worry about getting erasers. And I also got this General's Tri-Tip Eraser. And you can see that this eraser is very soft. General's tri-tip. As you can see, the, the quality of the camera is just very good. Then I also got these Faber-Castell eraser pencils, which I'm also going to unpackage for you because I need to pack them in my carry-on in this little pencil case that I got. So, or the huge pencil case that I got. So I don't know the quality of these. They're $6.99 and they were like $6.99 on Amazon. So when I went in the store and got them, I'm like, why? I might as well just get them here because these are these don't have any shipping. So we got the traditional Hobby Lobby back here. I just bought a new portfolio because I have some pieces I want to bring with me to Rhode Island. My old portfolio is stacked with pieces. So I have three portfolios. I have this one, which is the same as the other one. And I have this one. This one got full and I got another one. And then this other one is literally full to the core with pieces. Like there's one here, one here, one here. There's like three here so there's supposed to be one per page so i just have so many so that's why i got a new portfolio so i just got some packages from RISD. this is my sketchbook this is a moleskin sketchbook i spent a little bit more than i usually spend on a sketchbook because i wanted a nice sturdy and little one that i could bring with me in my backpack to class or this is just for fun this isn't for a specific class then I got these Secure Jelly Roll pins. I got three of them, also on Amazon. So I'll link that in the description below. Size 0.5. Then I got this mechanical pencil set, Night Trail, 0.5 millimeters to 2.0 millimeters. Comes with six pencils. So I'm gonna quickly unbox that for you. Oh wow, it comes in a nice casing. Get your bag, the brown paper bag from over there. Get the brown paper bag. It has these six, six mechanical it's pencils. And it comes with lots and lots of lead. And it comes with erasers. So I got these pencil extenders from Art & Fly where you put your colored pencils or uh, whatever pencils you want in here. And it extends them for when they're so little that you can barely hold them. So it extends the life of them. So I got five of those. There are lots of different colors. Then in this other box, which is almost empty, OK, 
Okay. Yeah, this is liquid, so it's a Gamsol. You use it to blend colored pencils, and this is my first time ever using Gamsol. So I'm really, really excited for that. Never tried it before. These are um, marker casings. So I bought a lot of them because I wanted to have extras for when I buy more markers, or so I don't have to keep on buying more and more. That's what I did for a lot of my art supplies for school. I wanted to buy for the future for like the next three, four years, so I don't have to keep on buying stuff. So it was a good investment, I think. Basically, each pack came with six, so you just stack them. You just stack them on top of each other. You just can stack all of, I got six, 12, 18, 24, 24 of them. So 24 times 12, however many that is. So I'm approaching the RISD store right now. I'm gonna buy some materials. Um, the RISD store is an art store where you can buy materials and what whatnot. Oh, this is nice. Bro, I went to the RISD store and I had to walk all the way up the hill carrying this huge, huge, you see how big that is in comparison to the desk? Art supplies. Bro, it took me forever, man. So these are the supplies that I got from the RISD store. They were required by my professor for the first day of class. And the supplies came out to around $200 for these few things. So I got these alpha color charcoal soft pastels. Then I had to get this bamboo brush, which that interests me why we need this a bamboo bamboo brush, sorry. We had to get this speedball ink. We had to get a moleskin sketchbook, which of course I got the wrong type of notebook, so gonna have to return that tomorrow. Great stuff, great stuff. Then I got this Bob's Fine Vine Charcoal. Then I got this chamois, chamois, I don't know what that is. It's like some type of cloth that I had to get. Ooh. Got some more charcoal because I couldn't tell which one was required. Got a spray fixative. This one I just got, it wasn't on the supply list, but I always put spray fixative on colored pencils, pastels, charcoal so that it doesn't fade over time and smudge and things of that nature. So I got this big, big 24 by 36 50 sheet newsprint paper that I had to get. And then I got this huge 18 by 24 drawing paper, which I mean, that paper used to seem so huge to me, but compared to this other paper, it's not big at all. And then I got this big drawing board, which was required for class. I have two because I bought one for my friend because he asked me to get it for him at the store, so. So I went back to the RISD store and I returned my other notebook, which was wrong. I finally got one with outlines, a Moleskine Classic Collection plain notebook. And it's purple, so I can distinguish it from my red one, which will be for my personal use. Then, this is a bag to carry all of my art supplies to class. So yeah, it's waterproof, apparently. Put supplies in here and put my big papers in here. So this is what I got at Jerry's Artorama. It's a huge drawing board, and behind it, you have this, which you can prop up. So this will be my drawing, like, desk easel. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and to send to your friends to share on social media. I appreciate you for watching. That's it for my art haul. And these are all of the supplies that I've collected in the past few months for college. So thank you for watching and make sure to check out my other college and art related videos. And comment in the comments below what you want me to make more videos of. See ya.